person is giving you mixed signal. So the way they are acting towards you is one fit one foot in one foot out and you are not sure what the intention of this person and you don't know what what you should be doing all right so let us do a reading on that if this is a situation where this person is not showing a clear sign what they want whether they are interested in you or they are not interested in you what you should be doing this reading might be for you all right and remember it is a collective reading everything will not be resonating with all of you take what resonate leave what doesn't it means if you feel this reading is for you you already knew whatever i'm saying in this reading it totally resonates in in your thoughts then this is your reading otherwise this is not your reading all right and saying that remember i have only one account in tiktok divine mother's guidance with 100k plus followers and um, i have only one account in insta divine mother's guidance with 3000 plus followers i will never follow anyone in tiktok or in instagram scammers steal my video and they just um pretend to make to make uh, ids like mine and message DM you offering a reading. I don't do that. So be be aware of that and don't be scammed. And if you're scammed, don't tell me. All right. Don't tell me. It pisses me off because I keep on screaming the same thing again and again. But who really gives a zero flying fuck? Anyways. So listen, think about that person. So let us see what is the true intention of your person. First of all, what is their true intention about you? Think about them. Okay. Envision their face. Take deep breath and let us see. What is their true intention? All right, the first card coming as a lover, second card coming as a queen of cups, ace of shirts, ace of pentacle, five of shirts, eight of wands, the moon, and the mean underneath the moon is the magician. Some people say, Show me the card. Hey, if you, if you don't believe a reader. If you need to see the cards, then it's a very important thing to understand. Your frequency doesn't match with that reader. So if you trust that, then this is your reading. And if you feel that this reader is fraud and they are just making up the story, you should not be even seeing this reading. Okay. Okay. Eight of shirts, seven of cups. Oh, three aces here. The wheel of fortune, seven of pentacle and the chariot. And the last card, bottom of the deck, five of pet cups. See, what I'm saying there, this person is an overthinker, whoever you are dealing with. They're extremely overthinker. So their thought process is like they are always caught up in their mind, in a mark, in their own fucking mind. So and also with the moon card, okay, with this moon card, I would say, and also the seven of cups. So these cards always show me some kind of when the cup come in a spread in, in, in a one when I'm doing this. If three of them show up, it's showing me that this person has a lot of, um, you know, confusion. Um, I would say they can't make decision properly. They negatively, negative thinker, they think also with the five of cups, with the five of cups with together. Negative thinker, they don't have any positive attitude towards life. They always like to see negative about life. Okay. And these people get confused very easily. Their mind is like one thing, a small little thing oh, underneath that is the food. All right. A small thing will make them extremely confused. So it is like if there is also this five of this five of shirts now what happens with this kind of people for example um they are doing very good they are they're not good at processing their thoughts in a right direction okay so if you they will think and they will make a logical explanation of the thing but that will be always in the negative direction so for example i incident have a two different sides you can see the positive side of the story you can think this person has a positive intention and that's why they are doing this and another person might see that they have always negative intention and they will see the negative side of this. For example, if you say something to this person, okay, you did it. I think you didn't do it correctly. Uh, maybe you do this because you, you probably think that this person is doing something wrong. You see that they are doing something wrong and you know the result will be disaster. So you just go with them and explain uh, if you do it in a different way, it is going to be better. So if a healthy person with a healthy mindset, they will think, oh, okay, this person is trying to help me. Let me think about their perspective. They might be wrong. Then you will explain them. Okay, listen, I understand what you're saying. Very good idea. But you know what? I'm doing this because this is, this is, this is what it is. A normal human being will say that to them. This kind of people will get triggered. Oh, you mean to say I'm bad? I don't know anything. I don't have abilities. I am bad. You are trying to tell me I am bad. I have all bad things in me. Um, you, are, you, are, you hate me to the core. You have always negative feelings about me. This is kind of a people who have, who represent by this combination of the cards. And not only that, they will tell you, you bully me. 
okay you bully me that's that's will be the thing oh you bully me you are trying to you know manipulate me you are trying to impose your thoughts on me you are not letting me be free you are just doing these things to me that thing to me and they will hold on to this a long 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 time so their mind is totally fucked up because of the negativity their subconscious there is a lot of hidden trauma in this these people so they don't see things in a positive perspective they can't see it they normally see all the time that they are everybody is their enemy everybody is trying to trigger them everybody is trying to find fault on them they are not loved by everybody this is kind of a negative psychological piece of shit so this is what it is this person is going through right now and this is the reason this person is giving you a hot and cold energy they are showing that they are indecisive there is a reason because whatever is happening your love or whatever is going on i can see that the card of lovers here because i cannot show you the lovers card i have to hide it the queen of cups all right so the queen of cups is here so they see you as like you know you are the emotional loving caring queen king or queen i don't know you how much you are you know you give them you are a giver you take care of them you nurture them you do all those good things for them you might be a queen of cups is a typical card from my collective you know as you know you know it so you might be empathic like you know empath or a spiritual healer or a healer in whichever way doctor nurse or you might be a tarot reader which white witch whatever you recognize with so this is you give so much to this person this is something this person ever manifested in their life they wanted in their okay this shit probably doesn't even know how what is the manifestation okay this piece of shit so they might be thinking like okay i envision somebody like you okay it will be so beautiful to get somebody like this kind of person who will love me care me show all their affection probably that's the way they manifested you but when you came to their life this is confusing them this is confusing them because they deep inside they believe that they are not worthy of getting anything good in their life they are not worthy of it they only deserve bad things because they sorry they only in the childhood they only got this kind of reaction from people who just criticize them they always made them feel like they are not worthy enough they are not good enough not good enough like other people around them so now they they deep inside believe that i cannot have anything good in my life so when you came to this person's life overpouring with your love your care your affection this person actually not being even believe that what the shit is this is it right in my life is it something that really going on their mind is telling them no it's not real it's not real something definitely wrong they don't love you they don't care for you now with this kind of mentality where they are actually opposing your love any bit of opportunity if you give them so in a relationship there will be situation when people will not be agreeing to each other right so uh, if you give a little bit of a moment where you are not agreeing to this person's any thought or anything or you are just not aligning with their thought they get oh you got that point see this is the person this is the real this person they hate me they hate me they never love me all they were doing is like you know it's the showing off they never loved me basically they hate me if they did love me then they will be saying yes to everything i say they will be liking everything about me how can they don't like this about me so they don't like this about me it's they hate me so this is their brain things about or you say anything you fight with them or anything with that because in every relationship people will fight that is a normal these people don't understand things in black and in, in, in there is a something between black and white there is a gray zone too so you can love somebody but still you cannot agree to everything this is something that doesn't go in their fucking head because that head that bullshit in their mind is like a you know what is this what bullshit is this there is a dog there is a fox there is a crab what the shit is like all the shit show going on in their mind all right the bullshit so this person is always in the negative thought process so that's the reason they can't understand that you can love them the way you are showing you are coming up as a queen of cup and the love that you are showing for them what they are believing deep inside they are that you are the love of their life that is true okay this reading is going to be more than 10 minutes so watch the full video in my youtube channel let's ask tarot please give me a thumbs up if you're watching me for the first time oh if you don't like it don't give it okay thumbs down whatever to goes with your mind do it do it okay so what i'm saying yeah they just can't believe that that they are worthy of getting somebody like you but yes i understand that with this they are going through a lot of um, mental turbulence so i would strongly tell you pull your fucking energy back 
with this person because it is not to manipulate them not to give them any hard time but to help them to assess their own feeling i am not i don't like in mental games seriously speaking i will not tell you to play any mental game but this pulling the energy when i see that pull the energy back it is not to play any game it is because game playing is the worst thing you can do to another person because game doesn't go forever the energy when i ask, ask them to say to make them feel that you are not there for them anymore in that case they will feel like whether they need you in their life or not they can decide by themselves because if you are there always with them they will not be able to make up the mind whether they need you or not let them feel that how it feels like whether you are not in their life you moved on moved on in the sense you focus on yourself in your life you know in your in your you know self love give yourself the love because obviously i have fucking millions of alarm in my phone to remind me about my medications anyways i am fine don't have to freak out but anyway so what i'm saying um you need to make sure that you focus on your life you don't give this person a like you know, why are you are making the decision why stop asking about making this decision if they have to make a decision to accept you or give you commitment they will do it themselves when you try to tell them about it they will be like opposing it even more this is a kind of a energy they will think that you are trying to dominate them you are trying to manipulate them so let them be themselves because these people need their own processing time to understand they like to feel safe and take control of their own life if you try to show them anything they feel like you are taking control control of their life you are manipulating them you are controlling them so please let them make feel whatever they want so after you do that in you have to have patience you have to have fucking patience in this case don't message them let them be alone pull your energy work on yourself during this time rather than freaking out just believe that this is my love of my life and they love me and they're going to come back to me i feel safe okay i don't have to freak out and even though they don't come back honey you have to love yourself and you need to be validating yourself what you are looking from this person but anyways with this situation what i'm sensing here there are three aces here there are three aces here and also there is a full card here so i'm sensing that there will be new beginning in this connection this person will come forward towards you this chariot is here this wheel of fucking fortune is here eight of wands are here so i would say if this is your reading this person let them process you have your own patience be detach yourself and work on yourself this is their psychological problem they let them deal with that they let them do their own judgment and let them come forward towards you with a new beginning if they feel like you are you, you, you are something they need in their you are somebody you need their like they will come forward anyways with this particular connection whoever it is they will definitely come forward and communicate with you with you you might get a fast communication from this very 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 fast communication message and the whole situation will turn in your favor the wheel is here the magician is here the the fucking fool is here everything is showing a positive change in this connection but the positive positive change only comes when you detach let them person be themselves let them decide rather than trying to influence the situation you said do whatever i don't care i am now independent of you i will move forward with my life if your road and my road supposed to be crossing again it will cross i will not manipulate anything surrender it to the divine and focus on yourself focus on your fucking life all right focus on your fucking life and if you don't like me saying fucking fuck off anyways what i'm saying yeah let me pull some whatever it is what do you call letters and so that you can get some kind of a confirmation all right um okay red roses they are showing me suddenly out of nowhere recently red roses is something that you will be interested in they are showing me a uh, unicorn you maha unicorn oh my god unicorn okay unicorn something might be relevant for you i don't know s is here y is here r here s again v u k p n p e w z these are the letters this might be resonating with you or you know whatever it is yeah if they are indecisive let them decide don't try to influence the situation they need to feel in control this kind of people because they are they have so deep belief about like negative beliefs about themselves like when you try to do something and influence it they get very very triggered that this person doesn't love me they want to change me they don't accept me the way i am they don't believe me that i can make the decision they are trying to influence me let let them do whatever they want leave them alone leave your life got my point done lecture over take care